Yeah. Thank you, everyone. So now I'm going to share a PowerPoint presentation, short PowerPoint presentation, and there you will find uh, an example of IELTS writing task two. It's a question from IELTS writing task two. And uh, actually, the thing I am just sharing with you, that means it's essay writing. So um, what kind of essay or what kind of question you will face in writing task two? So let's see and how to answer it. Uh, at first, I will just share some points. I will try my best to make it clear. And after that, you have to answer it, or you have to try. At least you have to try to answer it. They will find it really interesting because uh, it's really a related task to your uh, syllabus, or uh, especially if you can just um, complete, or if you just can uh, complete this task. Writing task two, I think uh, any any student from you can write a write something in freehand easily. So let's see what it is. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. So do you find it really clear? Clear enough? Yeah, clear okay. enough to see. So this is a demo or example question for writing task two. You can see here, we are calling it essay. So the, um, most of the time I used to say that uh, it's about composition. Actually composition and essay writing, two different things. But uh, locally it's known as quite similar things. But in IELTS term, actually they will provide you essay writing task so these are these this these, these are the question you will see this is a single question okay but you can see there are so many parts some people think that wild animals should not be kept in juice read carefully it's really important when you are answering writing task 2 that means you will be given 40 minutes for writing task 2 why you were given 40 minutes to plan something properly. That means when you will read the question, try to understand the meaning and make a plan how to face this question. Because after reading the question, if you start writing, I think after writing some points, you will just uh, lose your track. But you will not understand what, what is the next thing I will do. So the very first thing you need to do when you read the question, just read it properly. Try to understand every single point and make a plan how we will answer the question. So if you divide the question, you will find that there are three patterns. Some people think that wild animals should not be kept in juice. This is first view. Some people think that. Others believe that there are good reasons for having juice. And others believe that there are some reasons. That's why Jews are really important. So there, uh, you are not included. The, the, this two first, first part, you can see the first one and second one. The first view and second view, you are not included there. There you need to clarify others' expression or others' thought, what they thought. So some people think that wild animals should be kept in the juice and others believe that uh, there are good reasons for having juice. So discuss both these views and give your own opinion. This is the third part. Discuss both views, it's not the third part. The third part is give your own opinion. That means you need to analyze the first question at first. Some people think that wild animals should not keep in juice. You have to share something about um, supporting the point, just like why they, why they think that. And, and on the other hand, you see others believe that there are good reasons for having juice. Here you need to also support these ideas from your own point of view. But these, these are not your views. You are just trying to analyze those people's thought. And the last one is your opinion. At first, uh, write down something about the first, some people, what some people think, then others believe, what others believe, then the second part and the third part is your opinion. So uh, this, this main three parts you need to follow. And, um, at the very beginning, you need to start or you need to give an introduction. So if I if I just uh, analyze it or if I just um, uh, cut it short, then the summary is 
uh, there are at least five para you need to use. At first introduction part, before going to start discussing about the first question, you have to give an introduction about the animals or why we are keeping it in zoos. Uh, so you have to introduce. Then just um, discuss the first view. Then discuss the second view. And the last one is conclusion part. So you can see these are the points. Present one view. These are the major points, three points. Present one view, present the other view, and present your opinion. So if we divide this composition or essay writing, uh, basically you need to discuss about these three points. And with that, you have to add two points more. One is introduction part, another is um, conclusion part. Uh, but the thing is that when you write down the question, you are not allowed to write down introduction, then clone, then you have started writing, not like that. That means you are writing in a para. So if you count down, there will be five para. Got the point? So at first introduction, yes. then you need to discuss about yes, present, or discuss about the first view, then discuss about the second view, and then share your own opinion. That means what is your thought regarding the topic? What do you think? And in this part, that means where you need to share your opinion, you are not allowed to support both ideas together. Okay? Here you need to give only one option. You are supporting the first one or you're supporting the second one. You, you have to go through one path or you have to follow one path. You cannot just uh, share there or you cannot just write there. Okay, I'm supporting both of the ideas. You cannot write down. That means you need to uh, give your own opinion which idea you are supporting and then why you are supporting, you need to share something. Then write down conclusion. That means what is the summary of this writing? And one more thing, um, when you are writing down this task, writing task two, you are not allowed to exit 250 words. Sorry, uh, you, you cannot write down uh, the composition or uh, essay writing less than 250. You can write down more than 250 but not less than 250. If you write down less than 250, your mark, marks will be deducted or you will lose your marks. Got the point? Nice. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, if you have any query about this uh, come essay writing part one, the part two, that means IELTS writing part two essay writing, you can ask me if you have any query, you want to know something. Sir, how we will present the introductory part? Yeah, that means uh, we are talking about what is our question. Our question is, suppose, Our question is about some people think that wild animals should not be kept in juice. Okay, so just you can start like um, uh, the topic is about um, juice or a wild animals. We all know that it's really important. Wild animals are really important uh, for our ecosystem. If we destroy them, if we just uh, destroy their inhabitants, um, uh, automatically we'll be just get the result or it will be also, uh, be, it would be really dangerous for us or harmful for us. This is the way you have to start the topic. That means regarding the topic, you have to start. Is that clear, Majarul? And then the... Anybody else? Sir? Yes? In this topic, there is always a two views, right? Yeah, that means... You have to keep in your mind that if you if you are writing uh, IELTS writing task two essay writing, there everywhere you will get two views, not two views, three views. That means the first view is uh, some people are supporting the idea. Second view is some people they are not supporting the idea, and third view is what is your opinion. Okay. And sir, we divide it like a space, right? When yeah. we writing the yeah yeah three para. Generally, you have to write down three para, but including 
conclusion and introductory part, uh, it will just uh, uh, five para. Join. In total, yes, five para. Okay. And you, you, you cannot just write down this essay less than 250 words. And in case of uh, writing part one, graph and chart describing, um, you cannot write down less than 150 words. Sir, we can use a word twice a time. Uh, somehow, but not more than two or twice. Okay. And uh, when you will write down the essay, the most important part, you must use cohesive devices, just like connectors. Firstly, mm -hmm. finally, apart from this, in addition, supporting the idea. And uh, when you will present your idea, then you must say, I believe that, I think that, it's my opinion that, these are the phrases you must add when you will write down the opinion part, your opinion part. It's really important to use these phrases. Sir, that means this topic is just like our curriculum fact and my opinion, right? Yeah, yeah, right. That's why I have I have said just in the, in the textbook 9 and 10, you will find that these are the things they are okay. trying to teach you. Yeah. So their focus target, tar target is to reach uh, the IELTS writing tasks 1 and 2. Okay? And there you have seen there is... Uh, uh, of facts and opinions. So they're trying to just give you the same message. That means they are, um, they have already started preparing or they have started the process already from this nine and 10 class. But sir, we mentioned the name that, that means it is fact and it is my thought, but in this case, we don't focus it, right? Yeah, you don't that need means to we focus it. Didn't mention. Right, you don't need to focus it. Okay. Can we use here complex sentence? Yeah, oh, this is an important part. So when you're writing a composition or essay writing, uh, so using variation of sentence pattern, that would be really effective because uh, especially students who attend this kind of IELTS exam, uh, basically they have some preparation, they have some ideas how to answer these questions. But the... Most important part is that means if you want to get good marks or good points, just like more than seven, then you must be very strategic. You must follow the strategy, just like you need to use, especially you can avoid compound sentences, but you can use simple and complex sentences. And the fact is, as I have said, you will be assigned 10, uh, 40 minutes to write down uh, essay writing. So at first use 10 minutes to make a plan. Just create your own plan, how you will deal with this question. Make a plan at first. Take five minutes or more than five minutes. Just think how we will start, uh, which points we will share. So you need to prepare your presentation at first. And the rest of the 30 minutes, I think that would be enough. Uh, if you are writing down a composition or essay writing of uh, 250 words, I think 30 minutes enough. So you can use the first five minutes or 10 minutes to just uh, make your own plan, how you will deal with this question. This is really important. And after completing the task, if the time, if time remains, then you must check the grammatical mistakes. You must check the spelling because they will check every single spelling. That's the most important part of essay writing. It's not like they will give you just freehand marks, just like freehand writing. They will check every single sentence and uh, the examiner, uh, they have a script. That means where they will just uh, assess the, uh, how they will assess the composition or essay. That means every single yeah. sentence they will uh, try to figure out. Is it a correct sentence? Uh, have you used uh, the um, common words or the words that are really relevant with the topic? They will check your spelling part by part. And they will also see um, how many variation you have used. Just like, uh, have you only used the simple sentences or sometimes you have used some complex sentences? That means they will try to assess your skills. How you have um, finished the writing. Just like how many words or vocabs you have used. Uh, um, have you used some grammatical variations, okay? 
as well as as I have said, questions, cohesive devices, just like connectors. How many connectors you have used? So I want to mention something. Yes, yes. Yeah, so basically, uh, the IELTS people more prefer to use pencils in the IELTS exam instead of pens. And they say we shouldn't make any kind of like incorrections or we should not do double writing in our test. If we do, then our marks will be deducted. That's why we need to use pencils if so correct to correct our mistakes. They prefer it mostly in every kind of talk, excluding speaking. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Sam Khan. If you have any query, we need to rejoin because we don't have enough time for the session. So if you have any query about writing task two, you can ask me. It's not a big deal, actually. If we practice 50 model questions, I think it will you'll be prepared for writing anything. Okay, so there are more things to discuss, but not today because it's not a single task to share within one day. There are so many things we need to uh, practice. We need to share about writing task two and writing task one. We didn't finish, finish it. So uh, for, for today, uh, we can start our another activity, just uh, a speaking task. Ritika Ghosh, are you there? Ritika, can you hear me? Ritika Sahari there. Sadia Sultanari there. Yes, sir, I'm there. Yeah, Tasmi and Sadia Sultan, you can share about your classroom activity today. Uh, you will ask question one another. You will ask this question. Okay, you will pass one question to another. Not like you have to describe all the things. So you can start the conversation, Tasmiya and uh, Sadia. Yeah, okay, sir. thank you. Hi, Sadia, what's up? Um, I am fine, and you? Yeah, I'm also fine. Grace of Almighty Allah. So how was your school today? Uh, nice. Okay, so... What about yeah. you? Yeah. It's also fine today. What is our payment to collect it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, will you um join any custom in your school? No. So, I think you so, join many many kind of yeah program, yeah. right? Yeah, not many kind of program actually. I think I will participate in dance program. Yes. So today our um, um science class and our history class was so interesting, right? Yes, we uh, today we go to the lab. Yeah, today yeah today we went to the lab and then our allowances are um um the the, the yeah. class any kinds of experiment like you know, according to the textbook yes that was so interesting yeah and how could you take the like how could you take that in your hand when you uh, <laughs> you should be you give me that um what is that uh that was like potassium paramagnet yeah potassium or something yes uh, Thought that how could Sadia take that in her hand? Yeah, thank you, Sadia and Tasmia. Uh, I would like to request Sam, can you please drop the link in the British Council group? Uh, for the moment, I will share Sam Khan's link because I cannot reopen this. You know that there is a rule of Zoom. We need to you wait 10 minutes, but we will not wait for 10 minutes. Now I will share a new link in the group. You have to join through the group. And another interesting activity is waiting for you. So don't just uh, miss the class, rest of the part. Uh, okay, so rest of the time, I will just request Nusrat Jahan Khan and 
No ha. Sir, I have an idea, sir. I have an idea to reset the timer up soon. How I can do that? You can join another session of another guy and then leave the session. Then you can join. You can create another one without timer. Are you sure? Uh, I tried this today. Uh, I'm not sure, but it can work as far as now. Okay, so uh, uh, guys, don't need to join a new link. You just join my uh, my personal link after one or two minutes, okay? So then I will tell you what to do. Uh, don't uh, wait for a new link. You have to join, rejoin the same link uh, because I will try. Uh, as Sound has said, I will try that thing. Then let's see what happened. Okay, so uh, you please continue. Noha and Nusrat, we have two minutes left. It's a common or general conversation. You can start. Nusrat, Noha, can you hear me? Okay. Hello, Noha. Noha, are you there? Hello. Don't be shy. Yes, sir. Talk to Nusrat. Hello, Nuha. How are you? Yes, the point fine. What about you? Mm, I'm doing well. So, <clears throat> how your days are going? Uh, um, yes, going well. Okay. Have you attended your uh school class today? Yes, Apu. Okay. How was that? That was so good. Okay, so uh, what was the interesting thing about uh, today's session when you uh, joined in the morning? Did anything has happened which was interesting you found? No, I didn't found any kind of interesting. Okay, so do you like uh, uh, this kind of uh, session? like our uh, spoken session i think you you great because you you come here in every thursday yes, i can see right yeah yes. thank you for coming yeah so um, can you share uh, uh 